Hi, it's Adrian. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back um, <clears throat> doing an unintentional wear test. I had tried this video twice. Uh, one time I had foundation in my hair, and that was awfully special. So I went back and redid the video, and uh, the footage didn't quite work out. So this is third time. Hopefully, hopefully third time's the charm. And so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, all the makeup today is from the Miss A website. And the Miss A website um, is probably where dollar makeup actually started. Now you see a lot of makeup um, in Dollar Tree and Family Dollar and Dollar General, you know, that it runs for a dollar, a dollar twenty-five. But uh, the Miss A website, and it's M-I-S-S-A, um, that's named the website, Miss A. And then uh, the A-O-A -A line is their um, in-house makeup line. And uh, they tend to have some really good products, and a lot of people don't know about them because you basically have to order it on the website unless I think there are a couple of places in Texas where you can get it in person but other than that I don't know of any other places where you can actually pick it up in person kind of thing so uh, we'll get started with what I have on here and I did go ahead and get out the AOA baby glow uh, this actually came in a pack of five, and each one of these is a different highlighter. I actually used it for my primer today, and so that's what I have on um, underneath for my primer. And as far as the way that it looks, um, it's actually kind of a nice consistency. It gives you a little bit of moisture and a lot of glow. And I did use it both as a primer and then also um, as an actual highlighter today. So it's a liquid, and that's sort of how it looks. And then as far as uh, my base, um, most of what I have from AOA is going to be the regular foundations, which is actually a full coverage foundation. They do have the AOA Perfect uh, BB Cream. I didn't use this today, however. Um, I did go ahead and use the AOA Pro Wear Foundation, and I mixed uh, porcelain and buff together to go ahead and get the shade, and so that's what I have on there. Um, I have had it on for a couple of hours now, and I also use the AOA uh, Liquid Concealer in Porcelain as well. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the lips, use the NYX uh, Better Gloss and Tiramisu. And then I did go ahead and use the AOA Wonder Eyeshadow. This one is in Saffron. And I did go ahead and put that on over the top and it gave me a pretty bronzy kind of look to the um, lip gloss and yeah so this is one of their shadows uh, something I got on the AOA website I don't know if it's available anymore but it's called the pearl glow and these are actually uh, bronzer beads so um, Guerlain made these really popular they have highlighters and finishing powders and you actually buy the beads and the beads kind of disintegrate as you use them and you just go ahead and kind of dump your brush in here and then go ahead and put on your bronzer that way and this um, actually it's a peachy peachy glowy bronze and so that's what I have like I said this is older I don't know if it's still on the website the name of the company is BC so um, yeah it may still be on there but one thing that I know that it's still on there are the Lumi blushes and uh, these are they used to have eight total I only saw four last time I was on there but they're definitely worth picking up they're actually baked they're marbleized and baked uh, they came out at a time 
when a lot of the companies that weren't high-end couldn't do baked products so they pretty much hit and were an instant success or yeah they they were really popular for a while there and with good reason and if you see them I would definitely say to go ahead and pick them up they are pretty glowy and they're baked and they're marbleized and they're a nice formula they work real well as far as what I went ahead and did for powder, um, there are some really good AOA powders. This is their Perfect Powder, and they have a couple of different shades. I think this one is more along a pink one, um, and these both have some luminosity in them, so they're going to be a little bit glowy. I didn't actually go ahead and use that. Um, with going ahead and using this foundation and it being full coverage and thicker, I wanted a powder that was going to be lighter uh, than these ones. So I went ahead and used the Rimmel Stay Matte on there. And this is in, uh, I think, 12 Buff Beige. And with Rimmel, you can get it at Walmart or Walgreens. A lot of the different... Um, Maybe over at CVS or Rite Aid. I don't know about those two. But I find it over at Walmart and Walgreens. And this is, again, another really affordable product as well. I don't think I have anything on that was over $5 as an actual product. Um, another AOA product is going to be their Fuller Eyeshadow. And a really nice eyeshadow. This is a cream formula. And it definitely, go ahead and, um, yeah. Uh, I do have some of the highlighter on underneath this. But as you can see, it's, um, it's a really pretty formula. And a little goes a long way with these. Um, I did go ahead and put it right above the brow there. With the eyeshadow, um, I didn't actually have enough. I I have a couple here and there, but they didn't they didn't make a look. So I went ahead and got out one of the LA colors, and this is um, their charming palette. I got this over at Five Below. Five Below is a newer store to my area of the country. And so they're sort of moving from the East Coast over to the West Coast. And as far as I can tell, anyway. So um, as far as what I have on today, I went ahead and put this on the inner corner, this on the brow. And then I went ahead and put the floor on top of that. And then I went ahead and put this on the lid. And then this one actually on the outer corner and under the eye as an eyeliner didn't have any problem at all going ahead and putting these on um this uh, la colors you can find over at dollar tree a lot and um from what i hear with their palettes they're either hit or miss they either work really well or not well at all that's how the look turned out so that's how that turned out and then i did go ahead and pick up another um palette when I was, they're only like $2.50 or so. And I got the Bright palette uh, from LA Colors as well when I was over there. And I haven't tried this one yet, but this is what it looks like. So hopefully this one will work as well. And um, i trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, my regular, regular basics here. The Thick and Wild by Essence and the Caramel Blonde. And then the Essence Volume uh, Stylist 18 Hour Wear. This one's a tubing mascara. And all the Essence um, mascaras run $5 or under. So, yeah, that works real well. Real well. And I think I want to go ahead and put a little bit more on. Um, I had Golden Rose that I used as a primer. This one is actually Afterglow. And so we're going to put a little bit more on. So you can get a look at how these work. And they are liquid here. And, um, yeah. I've had this makeup on for a couple of hours. Um, I actually 
used setting spray on it twice and it hasn't faded so that's nice wasn't planning to go ahead and do anything of a wear test but like I said with the video I had a couple of problems so here we go here's a little bit more highlighter there a touch up on highlighter and lips is all I've had to do and I've had it on for about two three hours at this point and so um, that's way that the look turned out I think it turned out real well it's swelling or it's welling it's it's lasting really well and so yeah um, I would definitely suggest uh, going ahead and picking up AOA um, this time of the year right after the holidays everybody's broke nobody got any money so um, using these kind of tips to go ahead and restock some stuff um, I hope it's useful to you. Uh, AOA also has a lip gloss. It's called Squaw Lips, S-Q-U-A-L-I-P-S. It's squalane, and it's basically clear lip gloss. It's all squalane. It is so nourishing. It just feels like amazingly good on really chapped lips. So if you're making an order, you might want to put that in your cart as well. Um, haven't tried any of their mascaras for a while so I don't know how they're doing on that but again definitely would go ahead and recommend the base products the Lumi blushes uh, the baby glow and definitely the BB cream and the fuller eyeshadow and um, those would be my favorites as what far as what I picked up from them in the past and other than that, I guess that's all of the video. And thank you. And I hope you're having a good start to a brand new year. And I'll see you later. Bye.